Sweden. Sweden. Good. That's a good answer. Very good answer. They're all made in Japan. And you see, it doesn't matter. Who cares? It doesn't matter. It's a home. It's a very good home. And it fits together like that. It doesn't fit together like that. So all these homes are different, and they were all produced in the same factory. A bit like the car I was talking to you about earlier. So all these things are very durable, and we can do it today. This is 30 to 40 year old technology. It's not three year or four year, 30 to 40 year old technology. If you want to go see it tomorrow, have a word with your professors, I will take you to Japan and show you. Okay? Their population is 1. Uh, 128 million, or thereabouts, and they built 1.2 million homes in the same year that we were building in the UK, because we're pathetic in the UK, 100,000 homes. Because they were manufacturing half of those homes. So 600,000 of those were manufactured like this in factories. So it's all very doable. This is an interesting um, slide here. Which one of these two similar houses was built in a factory? Do you think? Just by looking at it, just do you sense anything? The left one. Sorry? The left one. The left one is what? Built in a factory. Anybody else? The right one. The right one. Who says right? <laughs> yeah, you see, you're wrong. I told you you were wrong. This is, this, yeah, right. this is the one that was built by hand. Brick on brick, and this is the one that's built in the factory. This one does not bleed energy. So when you close the door, the door closes with a thud. It doesn't let air because it's not crafted on site. That's the difference. Back to close fitting. So, I think I've got a slide on this. No, uh, this is where Keith comes in.